Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come it like a cherry. Come it like a cherry. Your oh, boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time with this channel, run over there and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe because you're going to want to be notified each and every time we upload a video. And then, welcome to the Lips Family. And now that you're part of the Lips Family, there's something that we need for you to do. That thing is comment, comment, comment like you share and go. Take for the team. Comment, like, and share, and don't take for the team. Comment, like, and share, and don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to don't forget to comment, like, and share. Okay, you guys check this out. We're gonna pray and get into the food. Here we go. Amen. Okay, you guys, today. Baby, we got us some Nashville hot ribs. We got us a nice sirloin steak. We have got over here, this is, what is this? Zucchini. And this is a everything but the kitchen sink salad. Baby, the only other thing you need to know, for me to get this meal to going, you know, to get it started, because it look good, darling. Yeah, it look good. But the only other thing you need to know is, Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help me out. Let's see if he's nice and refreshing. Yes, he is. Okay, you guys. Let's dig in. In this salad, you guys, I have got... Mmm. Mmm, that's good. In this salad, I've got spring lettuce. I've got ham, egg, cheese, cucumbers, Black olives, bacon, and red and green um, bell peppers. I'm going to be using, I've got some ranch dressing down the inside of it. Y'all know how that light be tripping, so I put the white part up under there. And I'm going to use Newman's Own. This is an Italian dressing. I love Italian dressing plus ranch or Italian and Thousand Island. I like them both that way. So we're going to be putting this on the top because it's clear, honey. And it's not going to mess with the screen. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm going to take these ribs down. I got them propped up for the thumbnail. And we're going to take them down so I can eat them, honey. I'm also going to be putting some of this salt and vinegar on this salad for seasoning. Baby, I got it all. I got the um, slap your mama season over here, the lips hot sauce, and the pink sauce. Now, y'all, now that's really good to eat. I want this salad. Y'all, I really only wanted salad today. Mmm. You hear me? Mmm. Really, the salad is all I wanted. Mmm. That's good. But keep it real. I know. That if I turn on this screen, or you see that thumbnail, and ain't nothing on that but sad, honey, or you ain't finna watch, let me give y'all some. Mm mm. Mm. So I throw some more ribs, and a nice steak up there, honey. And welcome to the video. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Y'all look at. Y'all, this meal here came from Ruby Tuesday. I love Ruby Tuesday. Mmm. Y'all need Nashville hot ribs. 
I'm going to see what it looks like. It's nasty or hot. Okay, I'm going to taste it without the lips hot sauce. It's good. Mmm. But I'm going to make it better. And there you go with the lips hot sauce on it. Mmm. 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 That's good. So how y'all doing today? Mmm. Are y'all eating with me? Okay, y'all. Mm. We have a topic today. We have a legion. Oh, before I go into the topic, let me tell you this. I want to give a special shout out and a special thank to Tosh Time. You guys, Tosh Time. Made another video. Mm. About lips and the legion. I think I put it in the community post. If I didn't, I'm gonna put it in there. So by the time you get this video, it's gonna be in the community post. Okay? You got a touch time. Mmm. Has always been a good friend to the show. To this town. She's the Legion. And she loves y'all. Mmm. Mmm. A very good lady. And I thank her so much. Thank you, Tosh Time. Now, Legion. I'm going to make sure that video is in the community post. I'm going to need y'all to go up there and watch it, okay? And come back and tell me how you like it. But while you go, when you do go over there, let her know lips sent you. Okay, y'all, here's the steak. Medium rare. The only way I eat it. I don't eat it any other way, honey. Medium rare. Mm. If it ain't got no red in you done wasted your time. <clears throat> because I'm not eating that. Uh-uh. If it ain't pink and inside, or red, whatever you want to say, I'm not eating that. Uh, y'all, all of the hot sauce review videos, I'm trying to get them all put in the, in the community poll. Mm. Y'all, this is good. The Lips 5 for 5 challenge is doing really, really well. Y'all don't forget I made a playlist for it. Let me give y'all a little bite of this. That's the salad. Mmm. Now, like I said, we got a topic. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, excuse me. I guess y'all can see from it's most of all that I'm eating. I wasn't lying to y'all. All I wanted was a salad. But I said, honey, if you go on that good bitch, y'all, and don't put nothing on there but a salad, honey, honey, daddy, now go watch. Mm. And today's discussion, our topic, it's about one legion, from one legion, and he wants help and concern. Mm. 
Mm. Excuse me. I said that wrong. He wants help and a decision and support from the Legion. And you guys, we're gonna do that, okay? Mmm. Okay. Y'all just said it so good. I just can't leave it on. Let me one more bite. And then we're gonna talk about the the conversation, okay? All right. You guys, one of our Legion members contacted me. And he's got a situation and he's asked for my opinion. So I asked him, would it be okay to speak about this today? He said, sure, because he wanted to get, you know, as many opinions or support that he could get. I said, okay. Okay, y'all. This Legion member, he is 15 years old. He's 15. Mm. Okay, y'all. He is um he knows that he is a part of the LGBTQ community, okay? Mm. But he is hiding it, okay? He says that although he's not ashamed of himself, he's proud to be who he is. I'm so thankful for that. But he said that the pressures of He has two other brothers, one older sister, okay? And he said the pressures of his older brothers, you know, being more manly, maybe, or, or more of the norm, put it that way, where society says is normal. Because they were athletes, they were, oh, that nasty hot. Y'all smell good. His other brothers were athletes. Both went to college and did well. The oldest brother has one child. Okay. Now you see the family structure, okay? A nice Christian home. He loves church. Anyway, he says that from his two other brothers and his father that there's a lot of um, playing around with words. Well, basically... There's a lot of, when they're speaking of people of the LGBTQ community, there's a lot of nicknames and name calling that they do. Just amongst themselves. You know, a lot of, excuse me, y'all, queer talk, you know, we all know the F word. The queen... There's a lot of this type of talk that goes on around him on these occasions when they're all together, which is making him feel intimidated. He wants to tell his family, but he feels like he's trapped. He feels like that because he feels this way, or this is whom he is, he feels like that he'll never be able to live his life out in, in the open. Because he's, a, he's afraid that his brother, his father, or basically his family, that they won't accept it. 
He says, watching me daily. Y'all know the piece of steak. He said, I'm watching me daily. Made him want to reach out to me and ask me, should he go ahead and tell his parents? Or since he only has a couple more years at home, should he just hide it until he leaves? Okay, so Legion, I hope that I got the story to you good enough. Will you understand? Now, keep in mind that this is a 15-year-old child. So when you give your advice, if you have any, we really want your prayers. But if you have any advice for him, make sure that you remember that you are speaking to a 15-year-old child. Okay? That feels like he is trapped. He feels like he's trapped. in his own. He feels like he is trapped in his own circumstance and that it will divide his family. Now, for those of you, there's one key part to this. That you don't know. Mm. Mm. And that is, the sister, she knows. He's already confided in her. And the sister told him she didn't think it was a good idea for him to tell his parents. So now he's asking me, what should he do? Okay, now that's the story. And that's what you need to know. So, this is what I'm going to say, young man. I don't think that there is a right or wrong answer for me to tell you in this situation. I don't think there's a right or a wrong. Mm. I think as an individual person, you kind of grow and you know within yourself when you are ready to tell the world. And I just want to let you know that whether you decide to do it now, if you're truly not comfortable with yourself, if you're truly not sure of yourself, because once you let it out your mouth and you tell it, or it's found out, people, society, and sometimes especially your family, they're gonna treat you differently, okay? So, you need to make sure that you're ready for that, okay? Make sure that you are ready to hear, deal with everything that the world has to throw at you. I mean, sometimes they throw hard and they throw fast. The best advice I can give you is whenever you're comfortable enough that it doesn't matter to you what the world has to say about you, that's when you do it, okay? That's when you do it. And I can tell you from experience, young man, you're going to have some lonely road, some lonely road to travel by yourself. You're still young. You have to find yourself, okay? Make sure you keep prayed up. Keep asking God to give you the answers that you need. Keep giving, asking God to give you the answers that you need, young man. What I will tell you, young man, on a really, 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 really serious note, okay? Is that there is nothing wrong with you. You were born perfect, just like you are, okay? Just like you are. You're perfect just like you are. Now, you're very, very young, and you have your whole life to live. Right now, at the age that you are, you think that you have it all figured out, and you think that you know who you are, and you don't yet, okay? So my advice to you is to make sure you learn who you are and make sure you learn to love who you are. That way it doesn't matter what the world says about you. 
You see what I'm saying? I hope that you understand just that. Because that there is enough. Because guess what? If I didn't love who I was, if I didn't love whom God made me, if someone along my journey didn't get to me and let me know that you are important and God made you just like you are, the question to ask God is not, God, why me? Why did you make me this way? That's not the question. The question to ask is, God, help me figure out what you want me to do with the gift that you've given me. Okay? Let me tell you something. Every person on this earth has gifts. We all have gifts. Okay? And think about it this way, young man. If you think that you can't get to that place, that sweet spot where you're confident, and you're not worried about the world. If you don't think that you're ever going to get there. Mm. You might want to reevaluate the decisions that you're making for your life. Okay? This is not an easy thing to do. But what I will tell you for sure is I know that through my boldness, in whom I am, how I am, and being happy, and being loving, and caring, and respectful of people, if I hadn't found out that I am who I am, and that I'm proud of who I am, and that it doesn't matter what anybody else in the world says about me, I know who I am. I know who I am. And I like me. I like me. No matter whether anyone else in the world likes me, I like me, okay? So with that being said, figure out who you are, because you're really, really young. And once you figure it out, keep praying, and you'll have the answer that you need. The only thing that I can tell you is, you tell the world when you get ready. Just make sure when you Get ready and tell them that you know who you are. 15 is really, really young to make life decisions about yourself. Because right now, you don't know who you are. Okay? But what I do know is, if you do figure out who you are, be that person. And be the best person that you can be. And don't let anybody make you ashamed. And don't let anybody make you cower down. And don't make don't let anybody make you feel like you're less than who you are. Okay? And then you got it. You got it. You guys, whatever advice you have for him, put it in the comment section. I'm sure he'll be looking. Because he watches every day. Secondly... Mm. Y'all four. Secondly, put, let me say, put a, a blue and a red heart in the comments. Let him know what you're praying for him. And that we pray that his mind develops in you know, whatever way that he chooses to go in life. That we got his back. We're going to be here with him, okay? I have to tell you guys one more time, like I do every day, when you want the lips hot sauce, you can find a hot sauce post in the community post, okay? Go to the community post, scroll down, you may have to scroll down a little bit. But the, the instructions on how to get the hot sauce are there, okay? Y'all gonna get up out of here, young man. I wish you the best in your life. I think that you should slow down at 15 and find yourself. Because how you feel, how you, whom you feel that you are today, you might not feel that way in 10 years, okay? So, what I say to you is give yourself a chance. Whichever glorious road that you choose to take, whether you do get older and feel like that you're still a part of the LGBTQ community, come on, if that's how you feel, once your mind has developed well enough for you to know that that's whom you are. Come on, and represent and be proud. You see what I'm saying? Because there are younger people such as yourself and me. If I wasn't here doing what I'm doing, then you would have had me to reach out to. Remember, there's someone watching you as well. There's someone watching you too. So, however you choose to grow up and be, let your mind develop 
and be that person and be the best that you can be at it. Whatever it is that you end up being. I love you so, so, so much. Thank you so much for reaching out. I'll be praying for you, and I'm sure the Legion will as well. You guys, don't forget, what did I say? A blue and a red heart? Yeah. I think that's what I said. Put a blue and a red heart in the comments and let them know we're praying for them and that we love them so much. Y'all, we're going to get up out of here. I told you about the hot sauce in the community post, didn't I? I did. You guys, don't forget to go and visit the Mukbang Bulls. Big Mac. You love Shani. Look at my and Sam's world. I hope you guys have enjoyed today. Y'all, I really just wanted to say it. But those were good as well. I love y'all so, so, so much. So, 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 so much. Don't forget to uplift, support, and leave whatever it is that you have to say that you feel like that will help this young man in the comments. You guys don't forget to get up out of here. Okay? I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to see you tomorrow. I think we'll have seafood tomorrow, y'all. Y'all ready for some seafood? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? I don't think we're going to do no crab legs, though, honey. But I think we're going to do seafood tomorrow. I think we're doing seafood. Yeah, that's what I got to taste for. I think. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. I'm rambling on. I love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to check out the playlist for the Lips Hot Sauce Reviews and the new challenge that we have out, the Lips 5 and 5. Five pancakes and five whole chicken wings. Y'all, that was good. Anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. Thank you all for watching. I love you all so, so, so much. I love me. I love you. I particularly love us. Legion, I love you guys so, so much. We're going to get up out of here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. If you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Bye. 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 Oh. Y'all, I wanted to sell it. Mm-hmm. So I'm full, but I've been craving this salad all day. But honey, who wasn't finna come on him? And just eat no salad. It was not finna be lips. Nope. Baby, y'all wasn't gonna watch. Every time I do something healthy, y'all don't watch. Y'all, my mind was clouded today. It was. Because I wanted to give this young man good advice. But, really, truth you guys, it's not... The best advice I can give him is give yourself time. Because who you think you are when you're that age, baby, you are trying to be a whole different person. And I don't want him to label himself and trap himself in a life that he doesn't know that he's ready for. Because he doesn't know if he's ready yet. He doesn't. I think he feels he's a little different. He feels pressure to live up to his oldest Brothers, I don't know what the situation is, but what I do know is 15 is too young. Unless you are perfectly clear, are perfectly clear, you have no doubt that it's too young to decide to live in a lifetime of judgment, stares, sometimes whispers. It don't bother me. I keep it, I keep it moving. Because I can tell you this much. If you got a problem with me, you going to walk around me because I'm not going to walk around you. But I cannot. No. I'm going to be respectful of you. I am. But if you got a problem with me being a part of the LGBTQ community, you better find you some ass somewhere else to breathe. Because, honey, mm -mm, I'm not walking around you. But what? But what? Nope. So, like I said, y'all, whatever y'all think about it, because if you're still here right now, you are my day one, so I know you love people. I know you do. I know you love people. And with that being said, if you think I gave him bad advice, tell me that in the comments, because I don't want to leave anyone wrong. I never want to give anyone advice that could potentially harm their life. I do not want to do that. That ain't my thing. I don't care how successful this channel is. You're not going to hear me on here giving people like, financial advice and this and that. Babe, I'm not going to do that. Because in order to do that, you've got to know a person's whole situation. There's no way through YouTube that I can know your whole situation. So how, why am I, babe, I'm not going to give you no advice and you end up getting thrown out your house or something like that. Babe, I'm, uh, what I'm going to do is mind my own business and tell you what, blessings to you and I'm going to pray for you. And that's what I'm going to do. 
Mm-hmm. I never want to tell anybody anything that could potentially hurt, harm themselves. I never want to do that. I don't. But I'm very, very careful about that. Mm. Mm. Okay, y'all. I finished it up. That's sad anyway, so that's what I wanted. So, like I said, let me know what you feel about the advice that I gave. Because it is so, so important that we have people Especially in my situation and in my lifestyle, we need people to stand up and make people understand, or you know, just such as this, young people that are trapped or they feel trapped within themselves because they don't know what to do. Y'all know where to go. Anyway, y'all, guess what? Big Ben 